Hello students, how are you all? Hope you all are fine and enjoyed your Diwali vacation. Now it's time to start study again. I hope you all are ready with your maths textbook, notebook, eraser and pencil. So shall we start today's class? Today I'm going to teach you something interesting and something new. So let's start. Before that, I'll ask you some question. Tell me students, at what time you wake up in the morning? At 6 o'clock or 7 o'clock or 8 o'clock. Correct? Okay. And at what time you go to the bed? At 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock. Correct? Okay. But students, how do you know the exact time? By watching a clock. By watching a clock. Correct? So today, I am going to teach you how to tell the exact time by watching a clock. Okay? So let's start. Telling time in your maths textbook. Chapter number 8. Time. Page number 140. Students, I have a surprise for you. So everyone, please close your eyes. And now, open your eyes and see. What is this? Yes, this is a clock. This is a clock. And student, a clock has one face. You can see this circle. This circle is a clock face. So the clock has one face and two hands. See, this one is a first hand. This one is a first hand and this one is a second hand. So a clock has two hands. And see, this hand is a small, right? This one is a smaller hand and this one is a bigger hand. So the smaller hand indicates R, indicates R. So it is a R hand. See, H O U R. So it is a R hand and the bigger hand indicates minute. So it is a minute hand. M I N U T E. Minute hand. Okay? So the smaller hand is the R hand and the bigger hand is the minute hand. Now you can see here some markings. Correct? A clock has some markings. And these markings are for hours and minutes. These markings are for hours and minutes. Okay? These bigger markings from C. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. This bigger markings indicates hours. Okay? This bigger markings are for R. It means this R hand will stop at this bigger numbers. Right? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Like this. So the R hand and this is a R marking. Okay? The bigger marking is a R marking. Again you can see the smaller marking in between these two bigger markings. See? 1, 2, 3, 4. Four smaller markings are here. It be in between these two bigger markings. Correct? So, the smaller markings are for minutes. The smaller markings are for minutes. See, everywhere you can see at an equal distance smaller markings are here. Correct? So, the smaller markings indicates the minutes. Okay? So, see our first point is a clock has one face. See, a clock has one face. And next point is, a clock face has how many hands? Two hands. Yes, a clock face has two hands. And the smaller hand is the R hand. And the bigger hand is the minute hand. So, the bigger hand is the minute hand. A clock face has markings for hours and 
minutes the marking with 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 are our markings and the smaller marking in between two R markings are the minute marking okay it minute markings next is how to read a time important is how to read a time so time is read in hours and minutes whenever you will read time first you will read hours and then you will read minutes for example 5 hours 1 minute 5 hours 30 minutes 5 hours 45 minutes or 5 hours 15 minutes like that way okay so it means hours and minutes so first we will read hour and then we will read minutes for example if this hour hand is at 4 is at number 4 and this minute hand is at number 12 so it is a 4 o'clock it is a 4 o'clock if this hour hand is at 1 and the mini time, the bigger hand is at 12. It is a 1 o'clock. It is a 1 o'clock. If the hour hand is at a 6 and the mini time is at a 12. So, it indicates what? The time is 6 hour. The time is 6 hour. It means 6 o'clock. Okay? And if the hour hand is at a 8 and the mini time is at a 12. So, it is a eight o'clock okay so time is read in hours and minute and how for example if the i show you already i sh if the hour hand is at four and the minute hand is at a 12 okay so it is a four o'clock and we write four Two dots zero zero. It means we separate hours and minutes. Means four hours zero minutes. So we separate hours and minutes by two dots. Four or four or apostrophe clock. In this two way you can write the time. So we write time four two dots zero zero. It means minutes or four o apostrophe clock. Okay. Okay. Now students, hope you understand the clock very well. Now open your maths textbook, page number 142. Write today's date, 7 December 2020. That is 7 month 12, 2020 is year. Okay. Now first we will read yes question and then we will solve our sum first we will understand the question so draw the hour and the minute hand to show the time and complete this sentence you have to read along with me so draw the hour and the minute hand to show the time and complete the sentence it means first we have to complete the sentence and for showing the time we have to draw the hour hand and the minute hand. Okay. Whenever you are showing the time, that time first you have to draw the hour hand. Because time is read in hours and minutes. First, So first we will draw hour hand. That is the smaller hand. And then we will draw the minute hand. Minute hand is a bigger hand. Okay. So let's see first question. I wake up at dash o'clock in the morning. I wake up at dash o'clock in the morning. This question, I ask you, yes, yes, I already ask you this question. And according to your answer, you have to write the number. You have to write the time. I wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning or someone, I wake up at 8 o'clock or 7 o'clock. According to your answer, you have to write. Okay? Suppose if you wake up at 7 o'clock in the morning, right? I wake up at 7 o'clock in the morning. And now you have to show the time. Okay. Before that I will tell you. I will show you. See. In this clock I will show you. I wake up at 7 o'clock in the morning. 
so first which hand you will place first you will place our hand correct now where is the seven here so seven our hand is at a seven and then the minute hand is at a 12 correct the minute hand is at a 12 so it is a so it is a seven o'clock okay the hour hand is at a seven and the minute hand is at a 12 so it is a seven o'clock so the same way we will draw the hands see i'll draw First, we will draw which hand? Our hand. So, first we will draw our hand. So, at 7. That is, our hand is a smaller hand. So, 7 and the bigger hand, that one is the minute hand. We will draw at number 12. And make sure you have to draw the arrows also. So, it is a 7 o'clock. Okay? Okay. Now, next... Question number two is, I reach school at zero o'clock. Now tell me, at what time you reach school? You reach school almost at 12 o'clock. Correct? Because our school timing is 12 o'clock. So I reach school at 12 o'clock. Now you have to show the time. First write, you reach school at 12 o'clock. Now you have to show the time. See, for showing the time, first you will place our hand. Correct? For R, at what number you will place our hand? At 12. Number 12. And then you have to place minute hand. Now tell me at what number you will place minute hand? Same. At 12 only. So it is a 12 o'clock. Okay? So first always you will place, you will draw our hand. That is the smaller hand and then you will draw mini hand. And I told you why. Because time is read in hours and minutes only. So see, first we will draw our hand. So our hand we will draw at number 12 because you wake up at 12 o'clock. Means smaller hand you will draw. And the bigger hand also will draw at number 12. So this is a bigger hand. It is a 12 o'clock. Done? Okay. Now next question. I reach home at dash o'clock in the evening. Now tell me at what time you reach in the home. You reach home at almost 6 o'clock or 7 o'clock suppose if you reach school I reach home at 6 o'clock right 6 o'clock I reach home at 6 o'clock in the evening now you will tell me which hand first I'll draw to show the time first bigger hand or smaller hand smaller hand why smaller hand because it is ours hand correct so, at what number I'll draw? Yes, number 6. So, we will draw number 6. Smaller hand is at number 6. And the bigger hand, that is the mini hand, is at number 12. So, it is a 6 o'clock. It is a 6 o'clock. Correct? Done? Next question and this question now students will solve. Teacher will not solve this question. Teacher will help. Okay. Now read the question. I go to bed at dash o'clock. Now tell me at what time you go to bed. You go to the bed according to your answer. 9 o'clock, 8 o'clock or 10 o'clock. Correct. So, write here, suppose if you go to the bed at 9 o'clock, write 9 o'clock. If 10, then write 10. If 8, then write 8 o'clock. Okay? Now, you have to show the time. 
Now tell me how, how you will show the time. I don't know. Now you have to tell me. Yes, by draw the hour sign and the minute hand. So first minute hand you will draw the hour hand. Hour hand. Okay. So first hour hand is a smaller hand. Correct? So draw the hour hand. At what number you will draw hour hand? At 8. Number 8 or number 7 or number 9? Number 9. 9 because you go to the bed at 9 o'clock. So draw our hand at number 9 and the bigger hand that is the mini hand is at number 12. Very good. Okay. So it is a 9 o'clock. Understood? Okay. Now do. Now open your maths notebook and write your homework. First write chapter number 8 time. T-I-M-E time. Then write homework and today's date is 7 December 2020. That is 7 12 2020. Done? Okay. Now write, write question number 1. Write the time shown by clocks. Means here time, uh, clock is already given and you have to see the time, you have to see the clock and by watching clock, by then afterwards you have to write the time. Now see here, now tell me here, our hand is at number 8 and the mini hand that is the bigger hand is at number 12. Now you know dash a clock. Correct? Now write the time. Done? Okay. Now next. Next clock. You have to draw your, this clock in your book. And write dash a clock. See in this clock, you can see minute hand and the hour hand. That is the smaller hand and the bigger hand. Both hand is at number 12. Done? Okay. Whenever you will write the time, first see the hour hand and then see the minute hand. Okay? Always observe hour and the minute hand. Now next, draw hands on the clocks to show the time. Write the question number two. Draw hands on the clocks to show the time. Now here, time is given and you, according to time, you have to draw the hands. You have to draw the hour hand and the minute hand. Now see the here, 3 o'clock. The, in the same way, this is the easier way to draw the clock. And the same way you have to draw the clock in your book. And according to time, you have to draw the hands. Now tell me first, which hand you will draw? Smaller or bigger? Smaller hand. That is a hour hand. And then afterwards you will draw bigger hand that is the minute hand. Correct? And here time is given 3 o'clock. Next is 11 o'clock. Done? Okay. So today what we learn? We learn clock has one face and clock face has two hands. Correct? One is a bigger hand that is the minute hand and one is a smaller hand that is the hour hand. Correct? And how to read a time? Time is read in hours and minutes. Right? And today uh, we learn how to write a time also. Okay? Okay. So do practice and complete your homework. It is important. Okay? Complete your homework and do practice at your home.